The National Research Council Institute of Fuel Cell here is the, is the lead uh, institute for fuel cell research in Canada. Mm -hmm. And we um, bring together all the research activities across NRC as well as in other research institutes uh, to focus on uh, PEM and SOSC fuel cell research programs. This is the first fuel cell power car in the world. This is the engine, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't have any combustion at all. It runs on a fuel cell. This is a project by the Canadian government, Ford, and these companies. Fuel cell tank, right? Yes, yes. It's not I like that you go. Safer yeah? than the, even safer than the cars. Safer cars, cars. than the gas. Cars, cars. The tailpipe is made of plastic because the emission is just water. Just imagine no pollution. This is a new generation. Yeah. Uh, all different temperatures, uh -huh. emissions, and uh, different uh, humidities. Inside is a control room. So it's like this is the future, eh? Yes, and the, the top one yeah. is the hydrogen, you know, hydrogen tank or something like that. Yeah. It's like you have a computer there yeah. and you get some yeah. some mechanism here. You could, how do you call this? Dispenser. Dispenser, yeah. so hydrogen. you're supposed to have a... You have hydrogen, this, hydrogen come out. Yeah, so you have to have something like that in your tank and you can yeah. seal it out. We have the electrolyzer in the corner. To generate hydrogen mm -hmm. and supply the fueling station. Yeah, water, the city water. City water, not mineral water or fresh water, just no, no, any just water. City water, just city water. City water because we have the city standards. Yeah, yeah. We're drinking water, so that's enough. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and then they have a they have a plan for the hydrogen economy for the next 15 years. Similarly, the solar energy. Yeah, to get the, solar the sun. Panels and that generates the hydrogen and the power for the fuel cell. You know, the power mm -hmm. comes out as you drive the sun. Well, it's like the sun, the, the sun, energy comes yeah, from there, yeah. Coming here, and then we use the solar panel here. Yeah, so, so these are solar panels. Yeah. And to power the electrolyzer. So this is an electrolyzer. Yeah, There's one that we saw there is a big, big thing where in, yeah. yeah it's like in the, in the generator, yeah, yeah. Generator, the hydrogen generator. Hydrogen generator. Then the hydrogen, the oxygen. So it separates the hydrogen from the oxygen. Yes. The process is this is the reverse process. This mm -hmm. separates the hydrogen and oxygen and now the combined hydrogen and the yeah. hydrogen together the power. Oh so you can actually reuse. close the loop. Yes, yes. Reuse it. Yes, yes. But you have to ah, so if you generate electricity, you can put it back there. Yes. So it means it goes back here. Yeah. And you could produce another electricity yes, like that. Yes, yes. And there's energy from the sun. And you don't need gasoline in producing this power. This one is really moving because of the energy from the bulb. Okay, so we took off the sun. So the electrolyzer will not move. The fuel cell will not produce anything and it will stop. Yeah. And then we put we put it back. Wow, this is a good experiment. <laughs> See? It's working. It's like magic. 